Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope everyone's going to have an absolutely awesome day today and I'm back with KS Craft and today we're going to make this and these are the Halloween um, eyeballs, googly eyes, whatever it is you like to call them but they're Halloween eyeballs and we're also going to do the spider web bow and the reason for that in combination is we're going to um, pop the eyeballs onto straws so we're going to make eyeball ones and why not <laughs> they all belong on straws now if you've got straws that have got the um, the, the manipulating bend in them um, just pop your eyeballs and stuff below the bend and uh, then they're going to be great in children's juice cups and things like that for Halloween or as I'm doing them, these are stiff straws. I got these from, I think it was Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. I got loads of them. And I think they do a mint green and white stripe one as well. Um, but you can just use them like flower picks uh, in your vases. Or, you know, if you've got a, <laughs> a Venus flytrap plant. So that would look pretty cool, wouldn't it? Right, so I'm going to stick with traditional colours and I'm going to go and run off. I'm going to cut in, I think, purple, orange, lime green, black and white. And then we'll come back and we're going to put eyeballs on sticks. <laughs> See you soon. Right, I've been off and I've die cut and I've done my bows and my eyeballs to kind of like colour theme. So I've done a white back. I've got my black veins for eyes you can do red if you want to but I just thought it was sort of like complement the straws so that is the largest one this one is the smallest one and you can see how they go together here I'm just going to rest them down just for a couple of seconds so that if you're making them uh, you know so I've got a white back you don't have to have a white back you can choose whatever colors you want and then you've got the black pupil and then whatever colour you want for the iris of the eye and then this is the piece that will glue on top and all of those will slot underneath and because I want to put the spider web bow onto uh, the straw I've kind of done complementary colours so you know they're going to be like this kind of thing so a different colour bow with each of the eyeballs but they're going to be a set so I've got some Dollar Tree glue and I'm also going to be using Alina Crafts tape which is just a great width. If you put it on a straw there you can see you don't have to get your hot glue gun out. You can just use Alina's tape. Right so I'm going to glue one eyeball and then I'll run off and do the other eyeballs and then we will do a bow. Right so just clean my little fluffy bits off there that came off the die cut and you just need to flip this over so you're putting your glue on your scruffy side unless of course you've got nice shiny new cutting plates and then it's basically nice all over sometimes you know I, I like to ramble when I'm doing stuff like this either that or I go quiet but I really wish someone would come up with a die that gave a nice front and a back don't you I mean, if it went down into um, a little plastic case that matched the die and you could sandwich the two together and then send them through and have a nice front and a back. Because there are some dies that you'd just like to use the reverse of so that you've got a pair, but your rough uh, cutting plates, you know, kind of prevents that. So I've got plenty of glue. I hope I haven't gone blurred. Just capping off my glue there and you just need to level it up with your um, your outer piece. Now I'm just going to pick that up. So I'm getting my fingers under there because you want to get it straight. I'm going to match it up and then what I like to do is just use my fingers to... Um, dab off any excess glue just make sure your fingers are clean you know that you've got no ink or paint or anything on them and you should be all right so you glue your veiny parts of your eyeball down and then you go in with the the um the iris which as i said you know any color that you choose 
and you've got a little white outline to all of it so you can choose to go all the way up to the black point if you want to or you can you know just be even so you can like have a white margin or you can just um she says sliding it around level it up so if i actually pick it up and move it across i think it's going to be a lot easier for me because i can see it <laughs> i'm just sliding backwards and forwards there that will do so press that down and you should get a little white outline again just around the um pupil of the eye and i did have my pickup tool there it is so i'm just going to pick that up and drop it down and that's basically a completed eyeball i'm going to pick it up so that you can have a look they're just really great fun so I'm just going to run away and glue the eyeballs. We'll come back and do the bows. Right, so I've glued the eyeballs and next we're going to do the bows. But if you look at your spider, there is a right way and a wrong way. And the kind of like closed section of the, um, the legs there is the right way. And I'm just going to take my gel pen and as I showed you yesterday, warm it up on your skin just to get it flowing and I want to put a couple of little eyeballs onto my spiders it's just a little detail you don't have to do it and if you've got any googly eyes of your own um, and they're small enough then they would look fabulous on uh, on your little spiders here so I've just put little white dots so I've got little dots on my spiders so they can be drying and let's glue a bow let's do a purple one so we've got our layers here this is the back of the bow which is absolutely gorgeous and if I'm getting it closer there we go so that is the back of your bow and then you get these layers now obviously this is a frame it can also be a shaker but I'm not doing it as a shaker. I'm just going to glue the black outline straight on top of there. So a little bit of glue. Take the cap off. And if you wanted to use glossy accents. Or uh, even cut a disc of acetate. And fasten it over your eyeball to make it shiny. You could, you know, you could absolutely do that. Right, so... There is a right way and a wrong way to put these on, but you'll know that when you've got them in your hands because your black outline should match whatever colour you've chosen for the base layer. So there we've got the top of our little bow. Whoops. And now I'm going to put some glue into the centre. And I'm just going to pop that into the centre. So you can see we've got our lovely cobweb and our lovely bow. And then just a little bit of glue or even foam if you want to um, raise up your little spider. Which would look quite nice. But they've got their little googly eyes and I'm going to have it that way around. I'm just going to give it a press. I'm going to use this. To make sure it's made contact with the glue so there we've got one little bow and i'll pick that up i just think it's really sweet really cute right i'm going to glue the rest of the bows and i'll be right back right so the eyes and the bows are uh, are done and we want different colors for each of the eyes and now it's the straws and this is how i do it i kind of basically look at the size of the object that I'm doing and then I kind of tend to go down half so I'm going to put my finger there I'm going to get a bone folder tool and I'm just going to crush it just flatten the whole thing out as much as you can flip it over and do the same and see you've got a nice flat edge now before it becomes round now onto there we're going to use our Alina craft tape so I'm just going to go down to the base of the flat bit I'm going in the centre 
all the way up to the top and then we're going to trim that off and I'm going to do exactly the same for the other ones I'm going to find the center of each of the eyeballs and uh, squash the straw and do the same thing and then you kind of end up with things at different heights now decide you know kind of which way around you want your eyeball whether you want it facing off to the left the right the up or the down I don't think it really matters but I think I kind of like it looking in so find the center of your eyeball and just press flat so that's what the back should look like it's nice and flat on the back and it's now attached to your eyeball Woohoo! Yeah, great fun, eh? <laughs> what it is to be five again. I don't know. <laughs> right, I'm going to attach my other eyeballs in exactly the same way and I'll be right back. Right, so the eyeballs are all on sticks and the only thing left to do is to put the little spidery bows on. So I've already put double-sided adhesive on the back and I'm going to peel that off find where about on on your googly stick you want to put it and I reckon about there is nice so I'm just going to, to push so that it's just stuck on there nicely make sure it's even to the rest of it there we go and I've peeled the backs off my other ones just going to get them the right way around I'm going to put my limey one here now these are, or should be slightly, um, at different heights because I usually go to the centre. So I would put the bows at different heights onto these so that you've got a little bit of interest when you gather them all together. You can have a nice little eyeball bouquet. Pop that one down there, I think. Yeah, look at that. I mean, who doesn't want a vase, you know, filled with eyeballs and spider webs for Halloween? That's just a great little thing. I absolutely love that. So that was using the eyeball dies and those spider web bows. And if I take these two away, because I like to give people ideas and use the smaller one, if you cut two of those and you've got a large letter B or a stamped letter B, then of course you've got boo using the eyeballs as your O's. And once again, those would look fabulous just stuck onto a little clip so that um, a little girl can have a bunch of little spider webs in her hair if she's going to a Halloween party. Right, you have an absolutely awesome day. I thank you so much for watching once again. And as usual, all links below. I'll be back with more KS Craft tomorrow. Bye.